these what I think they are? Uh... Yes, yes, yes! Twilight's taking me to the Grand Galloping Gala and Canterlot! The gala? I design ensembles for the gala every year, but I've never had the opportunity to attend. Oh, the society, the culture, the glamour. It's where I truly belong, and where I'm destined to meet him. Him! Who? Him. I would stroll through the gala, and everyone would wonder, who is that mysterious man? They would never guess that I was just a simple pony from little old Ponyville. Why, I would cause such a sensation that I would be invited for an audience with Princess Celestia herself. And the princess would be so taken with the style and elegance that she would introduce me to him, her nephew, the most handsome, eligible unicorn stallion in Canterlot. Our eyes would meet, our hearts would melt, our courtship would be magnificent. He would ask for my hope in marriage, and of course I would say, yes! We would have a royal wedding befitting a princess, which is <laughs> what I would become upon marrying him, the stallion of my dreams. Twilight, I simply cannot believe you would invite Pinkie Pie so she can party and prevent me from meeting my true love. How could you? <laughs> hey! <gasps> Angel, these are perfect. Uh, listen, guys. I haven't decided who to give the extra ticket to. You, you haven't? Um, excuse me, Twilight. I would just like to ask, I mean, if it would be all right, if you haven't given it to someone else. You? You want to go to the gala? Oh, no. I mean, yes, or actually, kind of. You see, it's not so much the Grand Galloping Gala as it is the wondrous private gated garden that surrounds the dance. The flowers are said to be the most beautiful and fragrant in all of Equestria for the night of the gala, and that night alone will they all be in bloom. And that's just the flora. Don't get me started on the fauna. There's loons and toucans and bitterns, oh my! Hummingbirds that can really hum, and buzzards that can really buzz. When blue jays and red jays and green jays, pink jays and pink flamingos. Gee, Fluttershy, it sounds beautiful. Wait just a minute. Rainbow Dash, were you following me? No, I mean, yes, I mean, maybe. Look, it doesn't matter. I couldn't risk a goody four shoes like you giving that ticket away to just anybody. Wait just another minute. Applejack, were you following me too? No, I was following this one to make sure she didn't try any funny business. Still trying to take my ticket. Your ticket? But Twilight's taking me! Oh, oh, you you oh, 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 she said it! And then I said, Oatmeal, are you crazy? Oh. Girls, there's no use in arguing. But Twilight. Uh, this is my decision, and I'm gonna make it on my own. And I certainly can't think straight with all this noise. Not to mention hunger. Now go on, shoot! Huh, okay. Okay. And don't worry, I'll figure this out! Somehow. <laughs> well... <laughs> what do you think? Am I the toast of the trench or what? <laughs> You'll be toast, all right, when the dragons see you parading around in that get -up. You look very nice, Rarity, but could you maybe look nice down here in the trench with us? Nice is an understatement. I look fabulous. Who says camouflage has to be drab? Ahoy, ladies! Dragons! <gasps> comes to mind. And formidable. And super duper scary. 
yeah. Us dragons are definitely a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> yeah, right, Spike. That's one of the scariest aprons I've ever seen. <laughs> What's wrong with wearing an apron? You won't be laughing when you spill blueberries all over your scales. Feathers. That's one tough stain. One tough stain against one lame dragon. <laughs> you leave him alone, Rainbow Dash. Spike's style is unique. He doesn't have to look like other dragons. Or act like them. My little Spikey Wikey is perfect the way he is. I don't act like other dragons? Oh, not even close. But why would you want to, Spike? Yes. You've got something those dreadfully fierce dragons can only dream of. What's that? Your cutest little chubby cheeks. Cute? Dragons aren't supposed to be cute, right? Oh, sweetie, you are turning the most delightful shade of red. It is most becoming. <laughs> oh, isn't he adorable when he waddles off in anger? Waddle? Ah! What am I? Where am I from? Who am I supposed to be? Ugh, I don't know. For the last time, Spike, you were given to me as an egg. I don't know who found you or where they found you. Seriously? That's all you know? I'm sorry, Spike. That doesn't tell me anything about who I am. I need answers. I feel like I'm... I'm looking at a complete stranger. Aww. Oh, Spike. Why don't we do some late-night research? See what we can find out. Really? You do that? Of course. I'm sure we can find something. Nothing. Nothing in this one either. Nothing at all about dragons? This is getting ridiculous! I know. It's hard to believe, but ponies know next to nothing about dragons. Apparently, they're too rare and too scary to try to talk to or study. I wonder if dragons cry. Oh, Spike. It's okay, Twilight. I'm gonna discover who I am if it's the last thing I do. You guys! Ah! Good morning! You wanna join us for breakfast? That sounds great. I'm famished. Count me out. I've gotta get an early start. An early start? Yes. I'm going on a quest of self-discovery. I need to learn what it means to be a dragon. And the only way I'm gonna do that is to join the dragon migration. What? Spike, that's nonsense talk. I know that you're a dragon, but those dragons mean business. They're big and tough and scary. And I'm small and meek, and I like to wear aprons. See, this is exactly why I need to spend time with them. All I'm saying is that you could get hurt. Darling, this time I really do have to agree with Rainbow Dash. I don't want those big, ugly, nasty dragons to hurt one little scale on your cutesy woolsey head. I'm sorry, but I made up my mind. Quick, do something! Stop him before it's too late! Whoa! You all look amazing! I can't believe we're finally here! With all that we've imagined, the reality of this night is sure to make this the best night ever! At the gala! At the gala! In the garden! I'm going to see the Creatures, I'll befriend them at the gala. All the birdies and the critters, they will love me big and small. We'll become good friends forever. Right here at the gala. All our dreams will come true. Right here at the gala. At the gala. At the gala, I will sell them all my apple tastic treats. Hungry ponies, they will buy them. Caramel apples, apple sweets. And I'll earn a lot of money. For the Apple family. All our dreams and our hopes from now until hereafter. All that we've been wishing for will happen at the gala. At the gala of the royals, they will meet fair rarity. They will see I'm just as regal at the gala. At the gala. I will find him, my Prince Charming, and how gallant he will be. He will treat me like a lady tonight. Bye. 
planet ever. You know why? Because we're all going to spend time at the gala to <laughs> together. Or not. Princess Celestia. Twilight. It is so lovely to see my star student. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. We have so much to catch up on. Well... Rarity. <gasps> Spike! I knew you would save me! Nothing could stop me, my lady. Oh, Spike, you are my hero. Mm. <laughs> oh, there, lover boy. Huh? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! I've got a bite! I've got a bite! <laughs> Hold on there, little fella! Yeah. Applejack! Twilight! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Wait for me! We're just gonna have to start going down them one by one. That could take forever. There's gotta be a way to narrow it down. I know. I bet they've taken Rarity down the tunnel with the most gems. But Spike, Rarity's the only one who knows how to find gems. No, Twilight, you can. You can copy Rarity's gem finding spell. Oh my gosh, you're right. Rarity showed me how she did it a while back. If I can just remember. Yeah. You did it, Twilight! Come on! We're coming, Rarity! We'll save you! Just hold on! Oh, please, Diamond Dogs! Please let me go! No! You're our precious little pony! Forever! <laughs> but whatever do you want from me? Gems! Yes, the gems! The jewels! Find them! Find them all! Oh, is that all? There, a lovely pocket of jewels are right there. Now, if you'd be so kind as to show me the exit. Good. <laughs> now, dig them up, pony. What? But you said you wanted me to find the gems. Yes, find and then dig. Dig? Yes, dig. What are you doing? We said dig! Forgive me, but prior to you so rudely dragging me into a dirt pit, I had a pony pedi, and I am not about to chip a hoof because you dislike my style of digging. Oh, for goodness! Fine! Just stop! Stop! Dig, dogs! Dig! And fast! <laughs> she won't dig, she pulls! I beg your pardon, but what, pray tell, are you doing? Others will dig. You will haul the wagon. Precious Pony Paddy will be preserved. Well, somebody certainly needs proper nail care. When was the last time you two had a manicure? You're scratching up my coat with those jagged things. Please be quiet! <laughs> Put her down right now! If 
proud of. You steal every pony's things, terrorize the town, and use me as a weapon against my own friends. Which, as horrible as it is, I can almost understand because you're a dragon and all. But this... This is a crime against fashion! <laughs> Oh, no. You are not getting this gemstone. <clears throat> this was given to me by my dear friend, Spikey Wikey, the kindest, sweetest, most generous dragon ever. And it is too precious to me to give to a greedy old beast like you. <clears throat> Myself. I... I don't know what to say. This is just so generous. <laughs> oh, what now? I suppose you'll be eating me or something. Spike? You're the rampaging dragon? tell you how absolutely proud I am of you. Proud of me? Yes. It was you who stopped, well, you, from destroying Ponyville. You are my hero, Spikey Wikey. Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned a great lesson about friendship. Well, you might think that it would feel good to get lots and lots of stuff, but it doesn't feel nearly as good as giving something special to some pony you really care about. over? It's all over. Your spell. Perform your spell. <laughs> what good would that do? My changelings already roam free. No. My power is useless now. I don't have the strength to repel them. My love will give you strength. <laughs> what a lovely, but absolutely ridiculous sentiment. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. 
you have a real wedding to put together. I get why the Queen of the Changelings wanted to be with you, but how did you get someone as amazing as Cadence to marry you? I told her she wouldn't just be gaining a husband, she'd be getting a pretty great sister, too. Gentle Colts, we are gathered here today to celebrate the union of the real Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Princess Cadence is fine. Hmm. The union of Princess Cadence and Shining Armor. The strength of their commitment is clear. The power of their love undeniable. May we have the rings, please? I now pronounce you Mayor and Colt. <laughs> This is your victory as much as theirs. You persisted in the face of doubt, and your actions led to your being able to bring the real Princess Cadence back to us. Zephyr Breeze? Oh, darling, this couldn't be more perfect. How is this perfect? He's the most annoying pony in Equestria, and he's totally obsessed with me, and we have to come up with a way to distract Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no way. Uh-uh. <sighs> what? Rainbow! I knew you'd come running when you heard I got this job. The mayor's love a pony in uniform, am I right? Not really. I mean, uh, totally. Why don't you step into the light so I can see how... Uh... Handsome, you look in it. I told the Sarge that gold kind of clashes with my aura, but apparently they aren't big on input. Still, I totally managed to rock the look, don't you think? Yep. You're real guard material. I'm part of the castle team now, so I'm basically... Oh. Whoa, we got a spooner. It's good you're finally being honest with your feelings for me, Rainbows. Blech. The truth is such a gift. Like, I had to follow my bliss to see guarding is my calling. Like, look at me go. I'm gonna walk over here and I go, whoa, over there. And I go, yeah. And sometimes I just stand like this and look real cool. And I go down the hallway and go, ow, 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 ow. We'll have to glide to the throne. No flapping. <laughs> Sister! Another false alarm from Shining Armor's guard geese. We should have heard by now. Something must have gone wrong. Probably several somethings. <gasps> no lookout, no distraction, and no word from the ponies inside. I'm starting to think this whole operation might be a giant flop. Chief 
Fluttershy. I thought your whole small spaces thing was just part of the plan to be unexpected. Once I got trapped in the castle of the two sisters, and Angel Bunny and I were separated. Now whenever I'm in a tiny room, it's all I can think about. I was so worried he felt alone and forgotten. I know what that's like. What do you mean? I was always excited to be a part of Twilight's and Shining Armor's rivalry, like I was their little brother. But they never really thought of me that way. I know they both have a special place in their heart for you. But sibling dynamics are hard, trust me. Right, Zephyr Breeze. Honestly, he can learn a lot from you about being a little brother. I am sick of being lost in these slimy corridors too! But you shouldn't pull every lever you come across! Half of them are traps! And the other half might open a secret passage to the castle! It's not worth the risk! Oh, hello, Spike. Even if we did find our way back to the castle, we'd still have all of those go- Spike? Oh, what are you guys doing down here? We, uh, kind of fell through the floor. I don't think our plan is working. We both hit dead ends. Perhaps we should return to the outside and reevaluate. 